they are like seeds but not fully grown yet. I don't think there will grow a banana from those seeds. Right. But but like if you get a seed that is like uh, quite big and like a stone thing. Yeah, and then it could like start a tree. But but uh, that's normally not the way the, the banana palms grow. They're like a grass. They will just shoot of banana palms from the root. Uh -huh. So you can just take a shoot and just place it somewhere else, and then it will grow. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen people like just chopping like a whole, like it looks like a whole banana tree, and then they just can can plant it. Yes, that's how all the banana palms you know, here. We never plant from seed. They say that it will be bad bananas if we plant it from seed. Really? Yeah. Huh. So you're a cyclist? Yes. And uh, this is your standard breakfast? Yeah, more or less. Like, uh, yeah, different fruits sometimes, but yeah. it's like uh, oats with some almonds and some uh, soy milk, because I like to get some protein. Uh, and then, yeah, whatever fruits I've got. And you're vegan and you're cycling? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I have a blog. It's called Vegan Cyclist Eur uh, v Vegan Cycling Eurasia. The blogspot.com. <laughs> Always enough ways to get energy. Uh, like it's sometimes difficult to find enough protein, or maybe not even difficult. But you have to like think about it because not every restaurant will have like uh, tofu or beans or things like that. Interesting that you have like the the, the protein thing. Yeah, I don't know. I for, for me, it's not a problem. Like, right. oh, if I even though if I eat like uh, only fruit and, and rice, it's like enough protein for me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting to it's hear just, people's uh, different stories. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know that I would not get enough protein, but I, it feels to me like like it would be, and uh, I don't want to like impair um, muscle growth mm -hmm. in any way. So I just want to make sure that there's enough protein. <laughs> okay, cool. That. So that, that's why you have the soy milk? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I also like it. Puer tea. Um, I Sorry? Puer tea. Puer tea. Like tea from Puer, uh -huh. the, the, the city in China. Okay. I think they ferment it or something. Okay. I was gifted it by some people I met in, like near Puer. Yeah, I like it. Is it like a herb tea? No, it's it's like leaf. tea tea. Leaf, I think leaf. it's green tea. Leaf. Leaf, okay. You also um, said yesterday that you don't um, like garlic so much. Mm -hmm. why, why why is that? Is it because you don't like the taste, or is it just like you you don't like like onions also? Yeah, I don't like onions either. Um, I think it originated because my parents um, they like meditate and they um, try to live bit according to Ayurveda and I think in Ayurveda it's they, like both onions and garlic can be used as um, as medicine uh -huh. but they're not really like promoted as, as food mm -hmm. um, so I never really ate them uh -huh. and that's why <laughs> I don't like it like for me right now it's more that I don't like the taste uh -huh. than, than uh, anything else but do, 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 do you think they are unhealthy um, Maybe like I, I, in general, I give Ayurveda like some some credit. I in, don't understand Ayurveda. Ayurveda, it's like a um, Indian uh, natural medicine, um, and yeah, like they have a lot of uh, rules, but also yeah, like pills and powders and things um, that are yeah supposed to prevent disease. Um, and so they use garlic and onions for some um, medicines, but not, yeah, not as food. So, so you say that garlic is medicine and not a food? Yes. Yes. Basically. So you should and only... Especially, I, I, as I understand it from, from uh, how it works, is that this is especially true if you don't eat meat. Like if you eat meat, then maybe it helps digesting it or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's not really a... It, it's not really beneficial, apparently. If you, if you don't eat meat, at least. So you're cycling back to the Netherlands, yes. your home country. Isn't it a bit far? <laughs> it's definitely a bit far. Uh, and actually, like, I don't know um, if I will feel feel like continuing all the way. 
Mm. Um, so who knows? I might fly back from anywhere. Okay. On the road. So you just try to cycle from here in northern Thailand through Myanmar and yeah. onwards, and then when if you don't feel like it, you'll just yeah, or or I skip a bit, or okay. I or I fly back. Uh, like it's not a hard set set in stone type of thing. Mm. Um, Can you tell us a, a bit about your bike? I mean, I, all these uh, long distance bikes have like very like they look like tractors. Yeah, like, yeah. Like a, not like a bicycle, but a tractor, and they have like. I already filmed that. They, they, you don't have a chain. No, I have a belt. You have a belt, and there's also more like it will not snap that easily, right? No, it will not snap that easily, and like chains wear quite easily, yeah, or or quite fast. So you have to replace them every few thousand kilometers. Yeah, um, and this belt drive, um, they say you have to change it every twenty-five or thirty thousand kilometers. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for the whole trip, it will it will stay good. Yeah. So, what is it made of? It's like is it like a plastic thing or what? Yeah, it's partly plastic. There's in, like I think the outer uh, part of it is uh, carbon, carbon fiber. Okay. Um, yeah, it must be part plastic. I don't know exactly. Uh. So, so it's like um, it's also like they all these bikes look very heavy, mm. but it's like also because it's like comfortable, right? You have yes. big tires. It's comfortable to ride long distances, but it's like it's hard, right? When you come to the mountain areas. <laughs> yeah, going up the the mountain, especially with all the the bags. Yeah. Um, yeah, it can be heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is like a big mountain, like a steep climb. Uh, when you come from Chiang Mai, going to Lampoon and going in the mountain route, there's like the first going up. Right. There's a. It's quite steep. Yeah, it's not. Not the steepest that I've had. No, <laughs> like no, no, no. It was, it was it, pretty doable. Bit, 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 so. But it's, it's still a, like it's going up and down, up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, it was it's, it's like a good effort that you like rode from Chiang Mai, though it was in two days, mm -hmm. and then you slept in a in a mon monastery. Yeah, that's <laughs> quite interesting. Yeah. So so, so so you just like you just walk in and just yeah, ask. Yeah, you walk or, in or, and ask. Or you or you ask first where you can sleep, or you just go, go no, like yeah, go like directly I, to the I monastery. Ask, like the first person that I that I meet that seems to be affiliated to the monastery. Okay. Um, like monks generally, but. Uh, um, what do you say? Do you speak English or do you know yeah, the words? I I speak like I speak some some English words and hope that they understand that. But I also like yeah yeah, yeah. Do, just do, like, like uh, you can sleep. That they, yeah. And then they just point you in the direction, and you yeah. and you get a room where you can sleep in your sleeping bag and your inner yeah. tent and stuff. Yeah, things like that. Or yeah, or I put up my tent somewhere outside okay. uh, on the on the property. Okay. Yeah, and they have like uh, toilets and uh, like a basic washing area that you can use. Do you think that would work if you were a woman? That's a really good question. I I um, I'm pretty sure it works if you're a couple. Yeah. Um, because I think yeah, I heard about this whole thing from uh, from a guy who was traveling with his girlfriend um, yeah. at the time. I mean, if there's a, like a uh, shared, um, but the shared um, bathroom thing is like you go in like you have you're still private. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, that should work. Yeah. No. I, probably it works. I, I don't know if the if the monks appreciate having a solo room because they're like celibate probably. So yeah. I don't. I don't know if that's a, if that could be a problem, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I think I think if you just like uh, respect the, that you cover up, like yeah, I that, then then I don't think it's a big issue. Yeah, like they're they're not gonna be sleeping in the same room mm -hmm. or area yeah. anyway. So okay. I really like the place. I like I said. I think I said that to you. Um, like it's the first time I've thought of um, moving to Thailand to to live in this type of a situation where you have like your own uh, fresh fruit, uh, your own vegetables, and you can like get stuff year round. Your wife made me some food last night, which was really great. The the huts are like basic, but um, like good mattresses, and yeah, it's it's a nice. Uh, it's a really nice atmosphere. Going vegan and going green uh, is definitely things that people should at least consider. Live life in a way that you're not only working and then tired for the rest of your like uh, week, for instance. If you if you don't get enjoyment out of the work, at least.
So, so make sure you do also enjoy life. Yeah, somehow, I, mean, I guess I don't, I'm not ever in a real hurry, but somehow it always feels like it takes longer than it should, it should be necessary. <laughs> but, so thanks for having me over. Thank you for coming uh, over and visiting. <laughs> yeah. Sharing your thoughts and ideas. Bye. Bye.